All right guys, what's up, it's Tim, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about something really quick. You're gonna be seeing some search gameplay. This is on freaking vacant, uh, not my favorite map in this game, but then again, there's not a lot of favorite maps in this game. So please, Cold War, please come soon. Like, it cannot come soon enough. But anyway, today's video is gonna be on the health bar in Black Ops Cold War. I put up a poll on Twitter. If you're not following me, make sure to follow me. What the hell are you doing? Just just follow me. You know, it's not that hard. Just go to the link in the description, click the follow button. But yeah, I tweeted this out and I said, thoughts on the health bar in Black Ops Cold War? Good idea, bad idea. I expected a resounding yes, honestly. I got 41 votes and I'll show it now on screen. It was more so bad idea, bruh, than good idea. N not by a lot, right? It was honestly probably like a 21 to 20. But the fact that it's so divided means that, wow, I don't know what the community wants. To me, health bar helps you see people who are far away, helps you know how much more you need to put in someone. Like, I feel like it can only help, right? Like, how does this hurt you? You know what I mean? Like, so honestly, if you voted for me, uh, you know, if you voted on Twitter, let me know which one you voted for. Let me know why. And I I'm really curious because in my opinion, I only see positives for having the health bar in Cold War. I'm talking about multiplayer here. As far as Warzone goes, I don't think that should be in it. I, I don't I don't think that's necessary, especially because you can heal your, your health super fast in Warzone and stuff. It's, it's not necessary. And I think that's, I don't know, it's just not worth it, right? You don't, you don't really need it. Uh, but I, I don't understand the negative. I'm really trying to think, like maybe it can obstruct your view here and there. Like if you're looking from like far distances, like you see sometimes in this gameplay, like, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just too much to look at. Maybe you can, maybe if you can't see your teammates and you can only see your enemy's health bars, maybe that would work. But like personally, like I said, it's, it, it only helps you see people and it only gives you more information. And as we know with Call of Duty, especially in Modern Warfare, more information means more movement, right? You take away the minimap in this game, nobody moves. You take away, I, I don't know, other things like just map voting in this game, nobody is happy, right? Just more information is just better, okay? Like more information, more choice is better in the game. And it, we, we don't get that anymore. We don't get that in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, they took away a lot of choices. They took away the prestige system. I was gonna make a whole video on that, but I'll just talk about it here at the end here. I personally don't care if prestiging comes back or not, okay? Prestiging matters like not at all to me. I think that, you know, it's cool to have a grind factor. It doesn't change one aspect of the game. Like, prestiging, it, it's not an afterthought, but it's kind of like a, it's a super bonus, like, okay, if you're gonna complain about that, you're gonna complain about anything. Um, I, I think people weren't happy with Modern Warfare, but like, if you're not gonna play the game, whether there's a prestige in it or not, doesn't matter, right? I, I don't play the game, I, I play the game because of Pandemic, but honestly, I wouldn't play the game if there was a prestige system, I mean, I, I might be like, you know, four or five or something like that. It, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about those emblems and stuff like that. I want rewards. If you're going to have a prestige system, have actual rewards. Give us, it used to be custom classes, but I guess give us like, I don't know, maybe a new gun, maybe a new variant or something. Uh, maybe uh, a kill streak customization option or something like that. Like, give us something cool for the reward of prestiging. Because there was no actual cool things happening when you prestige back in you know, like older CODs, I, I never really cared. I only cared in the ones where you got more custom classes for prestiging because that actually, guess what? That actually changes my uh, my experience, right? I can actually play more. I can actually use different, more variety. Uh, since they just gave you custom classes this game, which is, which is good, you know, it's better than uh, the five that we originally started with. It, I don't know, there's no incentive. There's no incentive for prestige. Not that there is a prestige in here anyway. I think people are sick of the level 155 nonsense. And it is nonsense, because after a while, you can't tell who's good, who's bad. It's just, oh, you played the whole season? So did I. Cool. Like, Bruh. I don't know. The seasonal ranking is stupid, but that doesn't necessarily mean I love the prestige system, if that makes sense. I, I think the prestige system is fine. I think the seasonal ranking is dumb. I would obviously prefer the prestige system. But if we don't have it, I'm not going to cry a river about it, okay? There's bigger issues to worry about in Call of Duty than the prestige system, in my opinion. But let me know what you think about the health bar and the prestige system. Very quick video. Only had a little bit of time in the gameplay. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.